Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph. It's a, peg, a, a JPEG. And he wants to vinyl cut it out. And I've already done it. And he sent me a bunch of pictures of what he's trying to do with manually tracing it. And I think, I mean, besides the glitter effect, and I could have maybe made the black border a little bit thicker. I think I did pretty good in just a few minutes. So this is what he sent me. It's it's five inches big. I'm going to reduce it real little. I mean, we're real little. We're less than a half of an inch. I think this helps Corel trace. Because if you go to bitmap, resample, we're like... 2800 dots per inch we can even lower it i think i made it smaller the first time i did it go to resample i mean we're like at 3400 dots per inch go to bitmap convert to bitmap and there's only a few colors so i'm going to go grayscale and it worked then i'm going to go to trace bitmap yours is going to be under bitmap outline trace clip art which I use almost extensively there's five colors in here we're going to hit OK our new copy is going to be on top I mean it did a really good job of getting rid of that garbage and he didn't I don't have a complete picture of the whole A so I can't really do anything and you could almost use this but there's some pattern changes in here and in one it doesn't look like it did as good a job as um, the one I just did. I guess I didn't notice that. But it traced it pretty good. So we're going to go to arrange group and ungroup all object. And we're going to get rid of everything that's not the gray lettering. And we need to, whoop, can't really do that yet. Went too far. So see all this trash? What I would do, I mean, this thing's real little, only quarter of an inch. Let's set our nudge factor on 0.5. And let's move the gray that we want to keep and the black that we want to keep down here. Now, look at all this garbage. There's 27 objects I would have to delete. So let's just move it back up. Now you can go... And it, it did not trace as well as it did the first time, but those can be fixed. He was going to, he couldn't figure out what the font was. We're going to go to arrange and combine. That took away all the black. We'll bring in a yellow box trick. To make sure it's transparent and it is white. I mean, it's transparent. I'm kind of disappointed for the video. It didn't trace as good, but we're going to, we're going to make this a red hairline. And if you have X8 and above, you can use the smoothie tool. If you don't, just use the shape tool. And we're just going to get rid of those notes. Um, there were a few more, like up there on the E. And kind of look, as long as it didn't change your shape of your E, if you're trying to make that logo perfect, maybe don't delete them all. Then here, pretty much delete all those. Those couple. It's a lot, to me, this is a lot easier than tracing it, you know, manually. It's so little. What I'm going to do now is make it larger so I can actually see better. And you, hopefully you can see better. But we've got red up. Here's a little bit of jig on the, the uh, A. Let's, uh, let's add a node right there and delete these. That little bump there. And you if you have the original logo to kind of look at why you're doing this, uh, you could bring it in. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just kind of show him what it can do. And I think that's good. Now we're going to take and go to the blend tool or the contour tool, which is under effect. And we're going to contour. It's already in red, so we're going to go black. Just so we do the, another another color. And that looks a little thick. 
See, as long as your E's are touching. And it's almost got that same, uh, that's almost the, the step we need next. So let's go 0 0.05. That looks a lot better. Now go to arrange, break contour apart. Now take the black one and do it in red, just so you can see the difference. It doesn't really matter. I just get used to doing this. And let's go to the outside. You just kind of look at it. It's not quite enough. So let's go 0 0.09. Might be a little bit too much. Because here's the original. Grab the original. Stretch it. Stretch it out. The proper size. And you could actually put it on top. Um, I think that looks pretty good. And then what you would do, if there's any interior parts that are so small, you would need to click on it, range and break curve apart, and then get rid of that little bit of a, go to range, break contour apart again, get a little, whenever that happens, just keep doing it until it goes away. We don't need that center A or center the E. I think everything else is good. Now I tried to copy these colors off the original, uh, which is right here. I'm going to right click, copy, go back to this page, paste. And I try to use these colors, but they're glitter and they're probably not real colors. Um, so I'm just going to use the same colors I did before. And so we need to, to get those exact colors because those aren't any Corel colors. I mean, let's see what color that is. It's a, we don't need the contour to anymore. I mean, that's a R67, G6940. Um, so take your, Smart Fill tool, go up here, grab your eyedropper tool, and grab that color, and then fill that color in right there. Of course, it, the, the one he had had glitter. Then you need to go to your pick tool again, kind of get off that, and we'll get this gray eyedropper tool. Get over here and get this gray. Go to the outside one. And then all you need to do is go to the Smart Fill tool and grab a black. And I do not know why that does that. I'm using somebody else's file from earlier. Then just zoom in here and take the Smart Fill tool and fill in this with black. And I think on the original, even the interior parts of the S or filled in, and the A. That looks pretty close. We actually need to put some, I mean, if he wants it identical uh, to this, uh, once again, maybe my second contour isn't deep enough, but then I would always left click, no outline. And that looks pretty close. Of course, you might want to fill these in. I do, I do not know anything about vinyl, vinyl cutting. I would think you would just need hairlines. And uh, if you're going to, I don't know how that works. I never have vinyl cut anything. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.